Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming Charlie's 8 month update for you guys. Um, a lot has gone on during her 8 month period so I'm really excited to film you guys in on what has been going on. This is going to be the first update that I have done on her as in like as far as months go but I'm actually really excited to film this because I feel like this will be really helpful and just informational for some of you guys that maybe have an eight month old or are going to have an eight month old sometime soon. And yeah, this is just a really exciting month for us. So I'm super excited to film you, fill you guys in on what has been going on with her. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm first going to talk about how our sleep schedule has changed this month. So Charlie has pretty much cut out her um, evening nap which used to be from like 4 to 4 30 ish or 4 to 5 that nap has kind of gone out the window unless we are out and in the car then sometimes she will take a nap but other than that that nap has been totally cut out like if we're at home and i try to lay her down for that no not happening which leads us to be like a little bit more fussy at nighttime and it's extremely hard to keep her happy from like 5 to her bedtime which is about two hours. I will sometimes lay her down at 6.30 if she is just completely exhausted. And she will actually sleep from 6.30 until usually seven o'clock the next morning. Charlie is an awesome sleeper and if she, she hardly ever wakes up in the middle of the night, but if she does, she goes right back to sleep and she usually soothe, soothes herself right back to sleep, which is so nice. We never had that with Bentley. Bentley was in our bed and it was just a complete nightmare until we um, crib trained her and got her into her own room. So yeah, this has just been like a complete total 180 from what we did with Bentley and I'm so glad that we decided to do um, the crib training and put her in her bed for sleep time because it has honestly just made my life so much easier and I'm honestly so glad that we did it. Um, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone. I put a lot of what I wanted to talk about on here just so that I wasn't all over the place. So the next thing that I wrote down is that she is absolutely all over her crib. So within the past week and a half, you guys, she has been sitting up in her crib and like moving all around anytime that I lay her down for a nap or not really at bedtime just because she's so completely exhausted by then. But you guys at nap time, oh my Lord, help me. Girl is all over the crib everywhere. And I have to go in like multiple times and like lay her, like put her back down on her back and she will just prop right back up and sit up and be talking or what have you. Girl is everywhere right now. And it's like, it's just like complete entertainment for her. And I almost feel like sometimes it's just completely like waking her back up and like over simulating her so much. But it's honestly been kind of funny to watch her on the monitor because she just sits there and like will talk to herself and then like move from one side of the crib to the other. It's so, so funny, which brings me into my next point, which is crawling. So she is not quite crawling yet, but somehow, some way, she rolls and maneuvers herself to different parts of the house and it's so funny you guys we'll be standing in the kitchen and we'll like leave her on part of our rug and we'll look up and she'll be like next to the fireplace and it's like girl how did you get there like you don't even crawl she honestly just like does this like kind of like army scoot type crawl thing i don't even know what you have it but she like rolls scoots and gets to new places will totally sit up and then start doing whatever it is that she's gonna do again so she is almost completely mobile I swear you guys I mean not walking mobile but y'all she's getting places and it is cracking us up because it's like one minute you look up and she's one place and then you look back down and she's somewhere else it's completely catching me off guard I forgot how much fun this age was it is so 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 much fun we are loving it so much it's so funny how quickly you forget how fast these stages go by it's like literally blowing my mind i cannot believe that she's almost nine months old so the next thing that i have written down is um that we cut down on the like evening nap which i already mentioned so the 
third nap of the day is like completely cut out we don't do that at all anymore and it honestly has been a transition and i've been like questioning myself if i'm doing this right or not but i'm just kind of going with it and yeah so she's just down to two naps a day now unless like i said we're out past like four o'clock and we're in the car or something then sometimes she'll fall asleep but most likely not so the next one i have on here is teething you guys oh my gosh i don't ever remember bentley teething this bad charlie it really bothers her um i remember reading stuff when i was um after i had bentley about like milestones and stuff and other moms would be like oh my gosh the teething is so bad but bentley really never went through that charlie is definitely the teething is hitting her for sure because you could just tell she's so uncomfortable. She's constantly kneading her head and like going like this into like my chest or just whatever she can get into. If she has a blanket, she's gnawing on it constantly on her hands, on her sleeve. It just breaks my heart. I honestly have had to break the Tylenol out quite a bit because she's just so fussy and so uncomfortable. So teething has been a big thing for us for this eight month. She actually popped two teeth in. She has one front one is all the way popped through and the other one is definitely popped through you can see it but the other one is like all the way up so that is another exciting for the eight month thing she got two teeth this month so the next thing is is you guys she's saying dada now it is the cutest thing ever she just of course she's not like she doesn't correlate it with wes but she says da 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 and honestly you guys it's so funny because i have been so so worried about just her being like a little bit delayed or a little bit behind just because of everything we went through with the helmet and the torticollis they say that that can definitely delay them a little bit and you guys she wasn't even peeping out a word like she'll say like she would be like ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, but she would never like baby babble and i like distinctly remember bentley doing that like way before charlie did and so you guys i was seriously starting to get worried i even called my mom last week and i was like mom i'm getting so worried like charlie isn't babbling at all like you know, I was just worried. You guys, that night, she started saying, da, 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 da. I was dead, cracking up, laughing, like, they will just keep you on your toes, and when you least expect something, they are gonna do it. So, yeah, that's the other thing that I've really learned with Charlie, is that two kids are so totally different, and you, like, I've just learned that I can't even, like, try to, like, correlate or compare the two because they are so different, and all of their milestones have happened at different times, and so that just goes to show me that you can't compare the two of them. <laughs> the next one I have on my list is she is so playful now. Her and Bentley are interacting so well. I feel like I've said this in another video before about how well they're interacting, but oh my gosh, you guys, now they are really interacting and it is so fun to watch. So much fun to watch. I think anytime you see your two kids playing good together or laughing or just anything, it makes you feel so good and you're just like, oh, like, I don't even, I can't even describe the feeling, but it just makes my heart swell up so big. I can't even describe it, but I am so glad that they're going to have each other. Like when I was watching them earlier today, I was like, oh my gosh, like when they're in middle school, like they are going to appreciate having each other so much. I really hope that they are just best friends, which obviously I know sisters are going to argue or fight, but I just really wish that I had that like sister growing up because it's just always someone to talk to about anything that's going on because we all know how it is and you're teenage, preteen years and you just think that it's the end of the world when really it's not, but talking to a girlfriend always helps. So I really hope that they are that for each other and that they can always be there for each other. So the next one on my list is what she is eating. You guys, she has gotten on a really good eating schedule. Charlie really was not interested in foods up until about four weeks ago, I want to say. So now she's definitely eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and she's definitely having like little tiny snacks in between, um, especially at that five o'clock mark when she's so exhausted. So at five o'clock, I will start feeding her dinner, and then 
Um, we just kind of like play around after that. We're usually done at like 520 or something. So we'll kind of play after that. And then usually when I'm getting Bentley her food, I'll just try to give Charlie like some puffs or something like that. I'm going to show you guys in just a second. I have some things out that I've been feeding her that we really have been loving. So I'm going to share that with you guys. But yeah. So while I'm trying to get Bentley situated and fed, I will give Charlie like a little snack. Sometimes she'll eat it, sometimes she won't. It just depends. Usually she's probably just not hungry, which is why she's not eating it. But I will just do it to try to keep her entertained for a little while while I'm either trying to do something with Bentley or trying to fold laundry or just get some stuff down around the house. I feel like it's good for her motor skills to be learning how to pick things up and you guys, it's helped so much. So right now I'm gonna show you guys what we have been loving snack wise. So these yogurt melts are the first thing that we have really been enjoying. Um, she honestly loves these. These are just the Gerber graduates yogurt melts in the flavor strawberry and we've also tried other flavors. I can't really remember them right now, but these she definitely really enjoys and then the other things are these plum organics little teethers and these are just little wafers and you guys charlie absolutely loves these and these definitely keep her entertained for a while like this will keep her entertained for like at least five to ten minutes because it just lasts a lot longer than like this yogurt melt or something like that or the puffs. So she really enjoys these teething wafers and they also are a little bit better than the mum mums I find just because they're a little bit thicker and I just feel like they last longer and keep her entertained for longer. So the next one are the Sunny Days um, Organic Snack Bars. And all I do with these is I just kind of like cut them into two. They're just like the litter, the the regular Nutrigrain bars, but they're obviously for babies. And I just cut them in half and kind of hand them to her and let her hold on to it just so it's like half of the bar and not the full bar. And yeah, she seems to really be liking these. And I think these are probably, I don't know what age these exactly are for, but I definitely remember giving these to Bentley and Bentley really loved them. And so when I was looking for snacks again for Charlie at the store, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm grabbing those and she loved them. So the next ones are these little crunchies by Gerber and these are really good. She really seems to like these and I just feel like these are also really entertaining for her and keep her entertained for longer periods of time than the puffs or the yogurt melts. I didn't even get the puffs out but we're also doing the little Gerber's like star puffs. She really really loves those too. Um, but yeah these little crunchies just seem to keep her entertained for a little bit longer and you know when you're a mom and you're trying to get stuff done that is like the number one thing it's like oh my gosh like how can i find more stuff to keep them entertained and definitely all of these are ones that i use if we're like in a snack time or just things like that and you guys them learning how to use their little pincher grasp i feel like is so huge charlie is definitely really getting it down and that has just happened within the past week or so that she's really gotten the grasp of that which makes me so happy because i feel like whenever you're a parent and you're waiting on a new milestone to hit you're just like on pins and needles you're like when are they gonna do it when are they gonna do it and it's like oh are they almost there or i don't know you guys it's just really exciting and yeah, that is pretty much it for her eight month update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like seeing these kind of updates, please let me know in the comments down below and I would greatly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!